somewhat righteous poets and completely co-opted Manchurian MCs, where your favorite poet is probably all too familiar with Top Ramen, and your favorite rapper's owner still obligates him to get back on his knees, shit be happening. And when poets act like rock stars, we call those false prophets. And when rappers act like they're getting far more money than they are, we call those false prophets. <laughs> and Willie Lynch LLC, these MCs who could be envied by BGs, so if you want to see Gs, they're willing to put you out as long as you're willing to let them turn you out. And be about that time-tested, destroy our group focus, group propagandized company message, dear children, the key to your success is, and doing anything you can think of that might possibly get you arrested. Ain't about hard work, no. Stay high, stay drunk, be disrespectful, assault people, talk weapons. Family, Willie Lynch LLC has mastered the essence of making sure everyone will be nothing like they can be. First, they attack the weak. They tell them there's this savage inside you called a nigga, and it's just dying to be free. Then they tell their cadre of contracted MCs that they are bound by service level agreement to make sure they find ways per song to say, free your inner nigga at least 25 times. And every time you say it, say it differently, and of course, adding some punchlines and rhymes. And it's like Willie Reed minds because. If you're a potential sellout, what do you know how to find out? First, first he massage your back with that long contract. Then, then, he, then he tickle your chin with that pen. Then, then he slide that rider deep inside you. If he hear you moan, he know he got you configured to murder some innocent children like remote control piloted military drones. And Willie well, got handful sandballs over samples. They use damn fools as examples to confuse self-respect and dismantle pride. So if a decade of negativity helps influence a young woman to be a gold digger, it helps influence a young man to be a criminal, that's just the result of them really MCs doing their job. For the many wealthy people who would love to see you dead, who know how to use a proxy to identify and popularize Uncle Toms who would gladly serve them your head on a platter for a little more than crumbs on a table. So the next time you hear a rapper spitting some ignorance that based on your understanding of the way things work don't make no damn sense, there's a perfectly rational explanation, sir, that motherfucking laughable abomination must work for Willie 